It's Monday, August the 4th, and this is your Barbados Today afternoon news update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news at this hour, authorities are continuing investigations into the apparent suicide of a secondary school boy. Sources tell Barbados Today that the student died on Thursday at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital after being a patient there for several days following consumption of a poisonous substance. It is understood that the boy who lives with his parents in St. George was distraught at receiving ungraded results in the CXC geography, a subject he was reportedly anxious to pass. Director of the National Insurance Department in Carrington is calling for Barbadians to produce more children. He says this is necessary to ensure the viability of the island's social security scheme. Carrington was addressing the Barbados Workers' Union 76th Annual Delegates Conference at the weekend. But the point is, the point is, we are not as a country producing enough children to maintain the population. And what is required to maintain your population is a work rate of no less than 2.1 there are always going to be some child that dies at childbirth. So we need a population rate of 2.1 just to maintain the size of our population. Opposition Barbados Labour Party MP for St. James North, Edmund Hinkson, wants a review of the educational system. Hinkson is concerned that the present system produces high achievers and others who leave school without certification. He was addressing the graduation ceremony of the Clarkson Foundation, a non-governmental organization which trains young men in the community in life skills. Our schools, our educational system does not cater as best as it could for those who are not the high achievers. Certainly, um, we do not learn the soft skills, the, the skills of caring, the skills of self-esteem. There's a gap in terms of those who may not be as um, academic as those high flyers who get the praise. Uh, where we have, and, and the figures are disputed, I mean, I... I have quoted a figure of just over 50% in Parliament who leave school without certification. And the Minister of Education challenged me, brought figures suggesting that it is more somewhere in the 40%, but whatever it is, there's too significant amount of students, both male and female, who at 16 or 17 leave school without the certification that is required to take them through to the next path of life into adulthood. Those of us who have been able to achieve the benefits of the on the backs of our ancestors and the fine educational system, as I said, that we have for those high achievers have a duty to try and help the others who may not have been so fortunate to do as well academia, academically at school as we have been able to. Chief Executive Officer of the National Initiative for Service Excellence, Kim Tudor, whose organization conducted training, echoed Hinkson's sentiments. We have a great education system, both secondary, primary, and certainly at tertiary. But there's always need for programs like these that would help you in the workplace and with life skills. The skills, the team building, interpersonal skills, these are skills that we all need throughout our lives. So our this program devives um, it's a program that is tailored to the needs of the particular group and can range from helping you with how basic reading and basic um, um, education right through to interpersonal skills. There's regional and international news after this short break. Morning, Miss Oya. Morning. <laughs> you again. So you're washing cars now. Well, I can't keep up with you at all. Yes, girl, you know they're going to provision the selling slow. Mm. And I don't sell nation newspapers at all because them don't sell. So I'm washing cars now. I like to get up before 8.30 because I can't take the hot sun. You want the car wash? No, not today. 
it clean. But, but you're going in very early, though? Yeah, I'm just going early so I can read the bar. Better sit there online before work starts. Right. Well, you can still let me uh, clean the vendor for the $2. At least it's still cheaper than the nation newspaper. All right. <laughs> I, I got a special boo here that I got it uh -huh. shiny. Thank you. Uh -huh. Enjoy your day here. Uh -huh. You too. All right. What that paper is? She can see clearly when the dirt is gone. The Barbados Today, news you can trust. Welcome back with news from the region now. A hurricane warning has been issued for the Leeward Islands to include Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla. A hurricane watch is now in effect for the British Virgin Islands. A hurricane warning means that hurricane conditions are possible within the specified area within 24 to 36 hours. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the specified area within 48 hours. Now at 11 a.m., the center of Hurricane Irma was located near latitude 16.8 north, longitude 53.3 west, or about 560 miles east of the Leeward Islands, and 610 miles away from St. Kitts and Nevis. Irma is moving toward the west-southwest at 14 miles per hour. A turn towards the west is expected later today, followed by a turn to the west-northwest late Tuesday. On forecast track, the center of Irma will move closer to the Leeward Islands through Tuesday. And on the global front, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley said today that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was begging for war as she urged the United Nations Security Council to adopt the strongest measures possible to stop Pyongyang's nuclear program. Speaking at the Security Council emergency meeting, Haley said North Korea's six nuclear tests was a clear sign that the time for half measures from the United Nations had ended. To the members of the Security Council, I must say, enough is enough. We have taken an incremental approach, and despite the best of intentions, it has not worked. Members of this Council will no doubt urge negotiations and a return to talks. But as I have just outlined, we have engaged in numerous direct and multilateral talks with the North Korean regime, and time after time, they have not worked. The time for half measures in the Security Council is over. The time has come to exhaust all of our diplomatic means before it's too late. We must now adopt the strongest possible measures. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadastoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, our screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.